here with three of my favorite ladies from the basketball team. How you doing, ladies? Hey. <laughs> okay, we got a comment from Bob. What is it like playing in a sport that's often overshadowed by men's sports? Is it frustrating sometimes? <laughs> I know if y'all make me answer all these questions. They so shy. Um, personally, I, I think it is, but I mean, in society, women, you know, we are considered less than or we don't really get the same opportunities as men. So, of course, it's going to trickle down to sports. But, yeah, it gets it gets very, very, very frustrating. Comment from SWFL Kane. Men's basketball versus women's basketball. Straight up, who wins? Women's basketball. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, we can't match it with y'all. I got superstars. We just regular guys, you know. <laughs> trying to get by. Comment from WBB Fanatic. The team seems to make adjustments at half very well and has furious rallies to start. What does Coach Myers say to you all? It's a for a purpose. No. Yeah. Everything we do have a purpose. No. Can't come out flat. So she does anything in particular, like every game, to get you prepared for the second half? We normally do it ourselves. Yeah. Right on the board. Tell us what we got to do and what we need to stop doing. Yeah. Yeah. Comment from Front Row Crew. Congrats on all your success. How much fun has the season been for you all? Love you, go Canes. <laughs> well, winning is always fun. <laughs> That's true. Winning is always fun. Though. It makes it you know, it makes it a lot, a lot easier as well on your coaches. Um, they really don't have to do a lot for us. We have so many talents and players. Um, we're just able to just execute exactly what they tell us to do. But it's a lot of fun when you win the games. Comment from UM81. I guess this is for you, baby. What does your shirt say? Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Comment from Scott Z. I've been told I never pass the ball when I play. Is anyone on the team like that? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, Scott's been having a, a hard time today with his, with his comments, but it's all, it's all love, though. Tell Scott to pass the ball. That's what you need to do. Comment from Worthy. Raquana, tell us why Shanice should win ACC Player of the Year. Shanice, tell us why Raquana should win ACC Player of the Year. Um, Because she's a leader. Um, she always step up when no one talks. She'll step up and say something. Um, she bring the energy, like we feed off her. Um, we just follow her and everything she does. <laughs> I mean, her, her numbers say, you know, for, for herself. Leading scorer in the ACC, um, nobody in the country can guard this young lady. Um, I wouldn't rather play with anybody else in the country. Um, I just think she's an awesome person, not only on the court, but as well off the court. Um, she's matured, she's, she's, she's grown so much as a young lady, and um, I think people see that and hopefully she does get it comment from T in South Miami if you didn't play hoops what other sport would you like to play I, I like volleyball like yeah, she like the tight shorts <laughs> <laughs> um, track and field for me um, whatever sport is the least amount of running <laughs> we cross over. No, I really, I don't know. Maybe, maybe volleyball. I like volleyball. Comment from Sebastian is my homeboy. Can anybody on the team dunk? <laughs> I don't think nobody can dunk, but yeah, she like can it. grab rim with ease. So you're the closest? Ray Ray can get up. Morgan can too. Drop step. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan can drop step. Comment from Kane's fans. How do you think you would match up against teams like UConn or Baylor? It won't be easy. Yeah. Just play Miami basketball. Yep. <laughs> I think, what, I mean, people struggle with our tempo. Um, I think that's what people have a hard time doing because we don't really have a dominant low post. Um, so I think we would give UConn a problem because they, they kind of play fast as well. But I think we play at a faster tempo. I think we're able to endure it a little bit longer. So I think we would give those teams some, some trouble. <laughs> Comment from Make It, Take It, Bebe, who wins in the three-point contest, you or Malcolm? I don't know. Bebe. <laughs> hey, Bebe. 
so you just gonna go with her. Well, I'm going for Malcolm. I'm going with Bay. Well, let's do it tomorrow. I mean, we well, can do it. What time we'll take our practice? I have no idea. Find out. Let us know. We practice today at 3.30. Mm-hmm. Off day. We deserve it. I know what that, I know what that means. Off day, you don't even see the gym. It's cool. <laughs> Comment from the Sergeant Major. What do each of you plan on doing after life at the U? Yeah, we're going to start with Morgan since she don't really like to talk that much. I plan on going to the league after settling down, you know. <laughs> but, I was like, but yeah, I do plan on going to the league. Get them um, Where are my, my, my talents taking me? Um, hopefully it's to the league, but I, w- I would like to play in the, in the Euro League. Um, that's somewhere I, w- I would like to play. I think that's where the money is. That's definitely what I'm trying to do. I like to play in the late, too. It's like a dream come true for me. Comment from Brian, Miami Gardens. What is your approach to the FSU game on Thursday? Revenge. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you got to get them back. Yeah. So what, what, what do you typically do on your off day? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep or get treatment. Pretty much treatment. treatment. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know how y'all travel compared to how we travel because y'all come back the night, like right after the game. Like, what time did y'all get back this morning? 4, 15. <laughs> <laughs> 8 a.m. And then went to class this morning? Classes were this morning. Yes. So. That's great. That's the epitome of a student athlete. <laughs> student first. <laughs> Comment from the U. Add in Shawnee's next year. Nobody's graduating. How good can you be? Final four good. Oh. <laughs> Final four good, man. I mean, Shawnee, she's I mean, a beast. She's a beast. And um, giving us that inside presence. I mean, we have, you know, Raquana, Strowman, me. I mean, we nearly unstoppable, I think. We're have the inside out game. So for it's going to be that, scary. So for people that's never seen her play, what does she bring to the court? No. <laughs> tempo too. No, she 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 can get up and down. She can bring tempo too. So she fit in with the style that y'all play now. Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm excited to see that. <laughs> Comment from Mario NYC. I know you guys doing great, but what are you going to what are you going to do to get where you want to be? Championship wise, I believe he wasn't very specific. I think we're doing what we're supposed to be doing to get where we're supposed to be. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I believe, I believe so. You got to do to get where you need to go. And what we're doing today, I think doing. we're just taking it one game at a time. No? Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. That's why we don't really worry about the pressure, our rank is, or anything. Yeah. We've been here before, so we yeah. stay in focus. So do you think when it comes to the team itself, like, the expectations of what everyone thought you were going to do versus what you do now? Like, does that feel good to basically beat all odds and be at the top instead of everybody thought you were going to be at the bottom? It's always good to rub it in somebody's face. <laughs> <laughs> Comment from the you. You guys are like second in nation in steals. What is it like playing that kind of basketball? I mean, I think it's a credit to Katie Meyer. She she gives us gives us the freedom to do so, and she puts you know our defense in, into in, into play, and we kind of just execute her, you know her her plan, and then you know of course our athletic <laughs> ability kind of takes over as well. But um, I mean it's it's been fun. I mean this has been a lot of fun. We switch up our defenses, we press sometimes, we go half court, so teams are really on edge. So for people to like like see y'all play or whatever when y'all press and stuff like that, even though there's no ten second count, what's the advantage to that? I think teams be scared just because they know in the back of their head we are second leading in the, in, in the nation and still. So I think they kind of get shook, kind of get scared. Comment from number one Canes fans. What would a top ten ranking mean to you? It mean a lot. Um, me coming here, well, I know for these guys, their first year playing, it wasn't – it's hype as it is now, so it's just exciting. And being in the top ten, it's like history, I guess. So that's all that matters. 
comment from New York State of Mind. Raquana, your shot always seems wet. How many times a week do you go to the gym and just shoot late at night? Never, <laughs> to be honest. Late at night. Yeah, late at night, no. Um, just get up shots after uh, with Coach um, Carolyn Keeger. And just tempo shots, like as if I was in a game, not just spot shooting. I can run off screens, like dig ups and all that. Comment from Montana Kane. Other than FSU, who is your girl's biggest rival? Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. I played Georgia Tech already, right? Mm -hmm. We played play again on Sunday. Is it up there though? Yeah. Y'all got to wait for us Monday? Yes. And then Florida State Thursday? And then Georgia Tech. And then Georgia Tech. Last three. Big week right there. Yeah. Comment from you, Ban. How have the freshmen been playing this year? Did they adjust well to playing at the college level? <laughs> I answered the word. I answered all the questions. Baby. <laughs> As freshmen, um, since conference play, really good. Like we need them. Um, they stepping up, doing their role, and doing everything that coach asks of them. So, who surprised you the most coming into this season? Whether it be a freshman or anybody else. Stroh surprised me the most, honestly. Um, she improved her game <laughs> beyond belief. I mean, she was in the gym over the summer. I was talking to her over the summer. She was in the gym almost every day, um, <laughs> killing, getting killed and dying all the time um, with her previous high school coach. I remember she was telling me. Um, and it's hot in South Carolina, so I know the gym's down there. It had to be hot. Um, <laughs> but um, I think Stroh is definitely most improved on the team. Um, she's developed the outside shot. I don't know if she got any stronger, but she definitely got an outside shot now. <laughs> Coming from the U, is there a scarier scoring combination in the country than the one, two, three punch at the table right now? I can answer that question. The question is no. <laughs> that's, that's the best three right there. Thanks for that, Thanks, Julie. <laughs> we got a comment from T Dog. Who's the best dancer, singer, and comedian on this team? Dancing? Yeah. Ray 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 I think we all kind of goofy, yeah. like our different ways. ways. Yeah. The singer, right here. Come on, American Idol. I know. Get the people what they want. <laughs> Comment from Kane's fans. Raquana, where did you get the nickname, Baby? Um, the baby of five. So, baby. Me neither. <laughs> I am the baby of five. Really? Yes. Okay, last question here. No, I'm not the baby's kid. <laughs> Where did the nickname Momo come from? Uh, actually, my middle name. Um, well, I was called a lot of things growing up. Momo, Mooter, Motormouth. I used to talk a lot. <laughs> but um, Momo stems from my middle name, Monet. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for the three lovely ladies that we have here. We wish them continued success, and we thank you all, the fans, for your questions and support. Thank you, thank you baby.